On the 13th of January 2012, at 21.45, Costa Concordia struck a rock in the Tyrrhenian Sea just off the eastern shore of Giglio Island. From the chronological reconstruction made through the records, it's clearly shown that the navigation close to the coast was undertaken superficially. Just in the phases immediately before the impact, a helmsman has made mistakes in the handling of the helm and the orders given by the master. Let's reconstruct the last five minutes of navigational bridge just before impact. At 21.40 and 48 seconds, the ship is 0.5 nautical miles far from the coast and the master orders 325. Three two five. Three one five. Three three five. Three two five. Three two five. The next few orders are completed correctly. Three three zero. Three three zero. Three three five. Three three five. Three four zero. Three four zero. At twenty one forty three and forty four. The speed is 15.9 knots. The master orders 350. The helmsman does not confirm properly. 350. 340. 350. Otherwise, we'll end up on the rocks. 350. However, taken from video recordings of the voyage data recorder at 2143 and 46, the bow is oriented to 327 degrees. The rate of turn is too slow, bringing the ship closer and closer to dangerous rocks. The turning radius is such that the ship is located 0.5 miles southwest of the planned route, so much closer to the coast than planned. From this moment, the master starts giving orders no more for headings but rather angles. Starboard 10. Starboard 10. Hard to starboard. Hard to starboard. The bow is less than 150 meters from the rock, while the ship is off the planned course by more than 800 meters. Midships. Midships. Port 10. Port 10. After the master orders port 10, the helmsman reaches only 5 degrees to port. Port 20. Port 20. The helmsman heads erroneously to starboard and then pulls again to the port as requested by the master, but spends almost 10 seconds for the correction of the maneuver. Hard support. Hard to port. A second deck officer from the port wing warns that the port side has gone aground. A second later, a loud crash is heard. At 21.45 and 07 seconds, the ship collides into the rocks. To investigate the effects of the helmsman's error on the impact with the rocks, a dedicated simulator was developed. The figure shows the results obtained. The blue line represents the actual ship position at the impact time, while the green line represents the simulated ship position without the helmsman's error. The black ellipse represents the rock's position. One could safely state that, according to the simulator, the ship would have passed close to the rocks without the impact. The recommendation to mitigate human contribution factor with education, training and technology has been made after Costa Concordia casualty. Thank you for watching.